Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Many times women stay at home and out of the workforce to take care of the family. And then when they want to re-enter the workforce, they don't have the training or the experience. Our Vanessa Tyler went to a symposium that has an answer for those women. Well, Larry, life happens, and sometimes the life you thought you live takes a turn, and now you're looking for a way to make it. For these women, a lifeline, and they're going to grab it. When life throws lemons, they are learning to make lemonade, so to speak, which, by the way, is perfect to serve at an open house, since every one of them here is interested in selling real estate. Women like Evelyn Molina, a mom to two teenagers and a wife for 17 years until the divorce. Now it's just her and the kids. So it's tough, and I didn't plan to give them that type of life. I get, I, I, my plan was to give them a better life, and right now, um, I am the one who has to take care of them and I am the one who needs to move on and, and work hard for them and for myself too. That is why she and all these women are here to move on more than just getting by but to thrive. This is a tailored program specifically for these women. Eric Anderson is the state director for the Center for Real Estate Education located in Hackensack. He knows how situations like divorce can take a toll, especially on mature women. Having lived through a divorce myself, I watched my mother go back into the workforce. And uh, I think she would have had an amazing advantage if she had the opportunity to go through a program like this. The program will teach women how to sell, manage property, even work in a real estate office. It worked. There we go. Come right on in. Wow. Real estate officials say selling real estate will use many of the skills these women have, but may not even know they possess. These are hardwood floors and vaulted ceilings. We're hoping that these women are able to find their individual careers in real estate, whatever that may be. So in real estate, you could work full time, you can work part time, you can do it on the side, you can put your whole life into it. Noelle Fryson is the director for the Center for Real Estate Education. She also got into this career following divorce and the need for flexibility to be there for her son. So we're hoping that all of these women who are in some sort of transition can find what fits their life perfectly. Since these women were referred here through the Displaced Homemakers Network of New Jersey, their coursework here to become a licensed real estate agent will be free of charge to them thanks to a grant. Free and a new life? Those smiles, relief, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It means a lot to them. It's an opportunity to become self-sufficient. Uh, it's an opportunity for them to gain self-esteem that they may have lost. Um, we have a lot of women who have been stay-at-home moms and have lost confidence in their ability to be out in the paid workforce because it's been so long. And now that they're returning to work, say after a divorce, maybe their spouses become disabled or they become widowed, they're back out and you know, they're learning, uh, they're using skills that they probably don't realize they already have. In Hackensack, I'm Vanessa Tyler for Jersey Matters. All right, thanks a lot, Vanessa. When we come back, my commentary on the Democrats' Bernie Sanders problem, when Jersey Matters continues.